What is up my fellow Halo fans, it is your boy Patman here back again with another video for you guys going over the end of month MCC development update blog. Huge blog filled with a bunch of details, I'm going to go over all the important stuff for you guys including Halo 3 hit registration issues and a potential fix that 343 is working on so an update on that as well as Halo 3 ODST flighting and Firefight getting a bunch of new features for ODST and we even have a sneak peek at Season 3 for MCC and it is really cool. You guys are going to want to stick around throughout the whole video to see all these details. If you guys like these kind of news updates, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here to stay up to date on all the latest happenings in the world of Halo and use the timestamp feature if you guys are looking for a certain section. Now the link to this blog post will be in the description down below because there are some things I'm going to skip guys like the audio fixes they go into a deep dive on how they came about the audio fixes for Halo Reach and Halo 3 if you guys really want to know about that as well as a really cool video that I suggest you guys check out about the hit registration and the fixes that 343 is coming up with. But what I will say about the Halo 3 hit registration is that 343 is trying to go on ahead and flight this out with the ODST flight so we will get an update to Halo 3 hit registration when the ODST flight happens and they are aiming to do the ODST flight in the first few weeks of August. So let's get into the Season 3 news now. For Season 3, 343 is looking to offer even more stuff for customization, which I am all for. I love what they did with Season 1. Season 3 looks to focus on Halo 3. Which is weird because I thought we were going in order, the first season was Reach, the next one was Halo CE focused, and I was under the impression from updates in the past saying that we would get these seasons in order for each subsequent game, and it seems they're just skipping right over my favorite Halo, Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, so kind of disappointed there. I reached out to 343 to see if they would respond and say maybe, hey, we're going to circle back to Halo 2, but... With the popularity of Halo 3 and it just launching on PC, I'm sure that's why they're going ahead with Season 3 focusing on Halo 3, but still a little bit disappointed. Nonetheless, hopefully we get to see Halo 2 content coming, especially the weapon skins and stuff. I really would love to see some skins for the BR. So for Season 3, they said they are continuing to include new customization options for Halo 3, which will include new weapon skins, new visors, and other content for Halo 3. Some brand new customization options that have never existed before will be available. So let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think this could be. Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe some armor light colors like they had in El Dorito or Halo Online. Or how cool would it be to have different customization options for the katana? Maybe have different kinds of swords. I don't know. I'm getting maybe a little bit too wacky and kooky here. But my mind's racing with what they've done already with MCC. Really anything is possible. They also say that they're looking to bring, of course, new nameplates to MCC with the launch of Season 3. We also know when the start of Season 3 will be, and that is with the launch of Halo 3 ODST. And 343 says that they aim to bring a new season out with each launch of the remaining titles coming to MCC on PC. So Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4, maybe Halo 5? We'll see. Now that means obviously you guys won't have much time left to complete Season 2, but fret not. Just like with Season 1, when Season 3 comes out, you will still be able to unlock content from previous seasons, and they're keeping this the same. I know some people have been kind of mad about this, but I honestly think this is way quicker to rank up this season by just completing challenges. But if you advance, or if you have advanced through the first 100 global ranks, so your little emblem rank that's next to you that ranks up every time you fill up that XP bar. If you've gone through the first 100 of those ranks, you will not earn a season point on a level up. Now, if you haven't ranked up 100 times yet, then you will still get your seasonal token every time you fill up the XP bar until you get to rank 100. And as a side note, when the launch of season three starts, so when ODST comes out, Season 2's seasonal challenges will actually expire. So that means your gold weapon camos for Halo CE for the Magnum Assault Rifle Sniper and Shotgun, those challenges will disappear with the launch of Halo 3 ODST in Season 3. If you guys are looking for a really quick way to earn those camos, I have a guide on it. It will only take you about 30 minutes to get those 
camos, so check it out. It will be linked on the card on your screen right now. Now, they do say that there will be additional opportunities for these challenges to come back in the future and be earned again, but if you guys want to make sure that you guys have them right now before they disappear for a little bit, then make sure you guys get those challenges done. And then as far as when a new season launches, whatever game is coming out with that season, that's what the seasonal challenges are going to reflect. So when Season 3 happens and ODST comes out, the seasonal challenges will focus more on Halo 3 ODST content, most likely firefight stuff. So for the Season 2 seasonal challenges, we know that they will expire once Halo 3 ODST launches. But also, if you guys really want to maximize the amount of tokens you can get per week, every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the challenges for the week reset. So you want to make sure you get those weeklies done before Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Now let's get into the ODST Firefight and all the new content that we can expect. So with ODST Firefight, you will get all the legacy content, which means all 10 maps, all the classic settings, the variations, and then some. But of course, they're adding a bunch of stuff to ODST Firefight as well. So for the first time, they've upgraded the network to an asynchronous networking and dedicated server model like what they have in Halo Reach's Firefight. And they say that this represents a serious improvement over the networking model which is used in co-op campaign gameplay, which I really hope that they fix co-op campaign gameplay. We know they've said in the past that they have no plans to really go into that right now, but hopefully eventually that gets fixed because the input delay, the lag, sometimes you can't even finish a mission with the a friend because it just disconnects you. It's, it's crazy. Now, huge news for Firefight for ODST. The next big upgrade that they're doing Matchmaking is going to be there for Halo 3 ODST. That is a first for ODST Firefight and it is awesome. Everybody was wanting this and they're listening to the fans. So this is great news, guys. So this will be comparable to what they have for Halo Reach. You could expect to see a survival themed option and an arcade themed option to support newly introduced game variants for ODST's Firefight. Now, as far as custom firefight, you could look forward to a bunch of new options like customizing your starting weapons, movement speed, player gravity, time limit, set limit, number of lives, damage output, and more. Now, it's not quite as advanced as Halo Reach's firefight options like customizing the contents of the waves or enemy variety within a wave, but still a bunch of new options for ODST firefight, which is always exciting. Now, as you guys can see from these screenshots, you could change things like the grenade regeneration, primary weapon, secondary weapon being the battle rifle getting added to Halo 3 ODST, which is awesome. Things like the Spartan laser you could spawn with or a fuel rod. So that is new to ODST. So they've been really working on upgrades for ODST Firefight, which is amazing. And as you guys can see here, you could also change what vehicle set will appear on the map, which is awesome. More options, the better. So during this blog post section, they were talking with one of the designers and he also had a little statement that's creating some speculation. I want to know what you guys think. So he said, I'm a little hesitant to talk about Redacted yet as I'm literally working on it today, but I think we're going to let you spawn with Redacted in Firefight. Once it has had a little more time to bake and we have had a test look at it, we can go more in depth on it. It should be pretty cool, but I literally got that working like an hour ago. So we will see how it goes. If all is well, I'm pretty sure folks will be happy with being able to adjust their starting weapons and the starting redacted on the maps. Now, I don't know what this means, guys. I'm going to go ahead and guess equipment. Equipment was already in Halo 3 ODST for the AI, uh, for like the brutes and stuff. We couldn't use it as players, so maybe we'll see that. It is Halo 3's engine, so it is a possibility, but maybe power-ups. I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. Let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think it could be. Now we'll talk about the Halo 3 ODST flight and how that will be happening on both PC and the Xbox One for the Halo Insider program. If you guys don't know, I will leave a link in the description to sign up for the Halo Insider program. That's how you get into these flights. So they are including a Halo 3 content patch inside of this flight, like I said earlier, to test some of the changes that they've made to Halo 3 hit registration, but they are also going to add Halo 3 ODST weapons in Halo 3. No, I'm not joking. Look at this. It's really cool. Definitely my favorite SMG in the whole series was the ODST one. I just think it's really dope looking. And honestly, don't know how this is going to work because I know a lot of people will complain about this because, you know, the Halo community always there's, you know, groups of people that don't agree with things like this because it's not true to the classic experience. But, you know, things like Halo Online added a bunch of weapons from other games that were in Halo 3 to it. So 
you know, maybe this will just be a custom games thing where you could have these weapons, but I really do hope to see them in multiplayer because I really don't play much customs and I would love to be able to play around with these and really see, especially the tactical magnum, how that changes Halo 3's gameplay because I am not a big fan of Halo 3's magnum. Now, they also talk about the content that we can expect in the flight and this is subject to change, so keep that in mind, but here is a general outline. For new features, they're going to be doing updated customization for Halo 3 ODST, firefight matchmaking and firefight custom games, with Firefight's networking model that has been completely overhauled for its addition into MCC. Theater. Theater will be available for use with mouse and keyboard for Halo 3 ODST. Now for campaign, the flighting will support the following ODST campaign missions with options for all difficulty levels, single player and cooperative online play. And those campaign missions will be Mombasa Streets, Teari Plaza, Uplift Reserved, NMPDHQ, Data Hive and Coastal Highway. There will be a few campaign playlists available in the flight as well. As far as firefight for the flight, it will include custom games and firefight matchmaking, as well as the maps being Crater Night, Rally Night, Crater, Lost Platoon, Windward, Chasm 10, and Last Exit. And the playlists available for matchmaking will be Firefight Heroic and Firefight Arcade. Now something that I didn't know for people who care about this kind of stuff, originally Ruffian and Splash Damage were helping with 343 really bring MCC to PC, but I guess back in January, Saber Interactive has actually took over all primary development for MCC, which Ruffian and Splash Damage helped to start. Now 343 states that Saber will be moving forward with them as a partner to help them work on the remaining titles coming to MCC on PC as well as some of the features we're about to get into. If you guys know a little bit of your Halo development history, Saber actually helped develop Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Then to end the blog post, they go over the top community reported issues and some of the global features and development status where those are at, some of the key features as well as quality of life improvements. And that is enough stuff to go on for another five to six minutes. I really don't want this video to be that long. So I'm going to do that in a separate video, a part two of sorts. So if you guys want to see that, I'll be releasing it shortly after this one. So I'll link that down in the description of this video. If you guys want to check that out, I appreciate it. I appreciate the support guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click the like button. If you guys enjoy this content, subscribe. Like I said, to stay up to date on all the latest happenings in the world of Halo and hope to catch you guys in either a previous video of mine or a future video of mine. Until that time comes, I am your boy Patman and I'm out.